principle behind microneedling involves intentionally causing minor skin injury to stimulate the body's natural healing response. This, in turn, increases the production of healing factors that can promote hair follicle growth. By creating micro tears in the skin, microneedling allows for increased blood flow and nutrient delivery to the hair follicles, thus, in theory, encouraging hair growth. Microneedling has been shown to improve the absorption of topical products such as minoxidil, which is often used to treat hair loss. In a study by Dorat et al. 2014 titled, quote, A Randomized Evaluator Blinded Study of the Effect of Microneedling in Androgenetic Alopecia, end quote. It was found that microneedling significantly increased the absorption of topical products such as minoxidil when compared to its application without microneedling. This suggests that Combining microneedling with topical treatments could potentially lead to better results for those seeking to regrow hair. In the Biomedicine and Pharmacological Therapy Journal, a particular article titled, quote, Microneedles, a smart approach to increasing potential for a transdermal drug delivery system, talks about how microneedling boosts the efficacy and absorption of topical products. So there are some things to acknowledge here. When you're intentionally causing these micro tears, to the skin, the body will increase the healing factors to that particular area, could potentially in turn create healthier and stronger follicles if it's done strategically. Now, microneedling may also work in the sense that when you're using minoxidil, having those micro tears or having areas where the microneedling was done may allow minoxidil to better absorb into those less thick areas, the areas that have been reduced in thickness, skin thickness, that is, due to the microneedling. Now, when you're microneedling, you kind of want to draw some blood, not too much, but it's essential that you get a small amount of blood because you need to have those tears in the skin so the healing factors can be generated and the minoxidil itself can be absorbed. From my understanding, some people microneedle once a week, and when they microneedle, they do not apply minoxidil for that particular day. They wait 24 hours, and then they do it. Some people microneedle and then apply minoxidil. That's probably not the best practice, because you could increase the amount of systemic absorption, which could potentially lead to side effects. So that's always something to be mindful of. Another thing that I want to add, when using microneedling devices such as a derma roller or derma pen, it is essential to keep the needles clean to prevent infections and maintain the treatment's effectiveness. To clean your needles, you can use boiling hot water along with alcohol wipes or alcohol sprays, and if possible, replace the needles regularly to ensure optimal performance and safety. Don't compromise with dirty needles, don't ever do that. Uh, even if you're the only one that's using it, don't compromise with that. Be sure the microneedles are sterilized before you even put that on your scalp and create tears that go under the skin. You could have a horrible skin infection on your scalp and that would really mess up your hair growth and you'll have additional issues such as inflammation. Don't mess with it if you can't properly use it. I've seen stories where people overdo the microneedling to the point where the entire scalp is bloody. Props to you if you can stand that pain, but that isn't even necessary. Again, slow, steady, Use whether you're using a derma roller or a derma pen, you want to go slow and steady. You want to draw a small amount of blood, but not to overdo it as this can lead to scarring and potential destruction of the hair follicles. Your follicles would probably be destroyed and wouldn't even grow anymore due to the scars that you may introduce. So it's extremely important to take a slow and gentle approach. So in conclusion, microneedling appears to offer some promising benefits for hair growth, including increased absorption of topical products and improved results when combined with minoxidil. However, more research is needed to fully understand its potential and establish best practices for treatment. And remember, when using microneedling devices, it's crucial to keep the needles clean and employ proper technique to prevent complications and ensure safety. For me, I don't use microneedling that much anymore. I may start using it again just to see if I could get better absorption if I do use minoxidil, but... I don't think it's really necessary to use microneedling. 
That is, if you're having issues with applying the minoxidil topically onto your scalp, if you think you aren't getting proper absorption or you're not seeing good results, then perhaps it is something to try out just for the sake of absorption. But don't overdo it and don't think like literally jamming the roller or the pen on your scalp, creating lots of blood is going to make your results better. Temper yourself. Well, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out.